What's up, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Uncanned. Today, I'm uncanning Puff Pastry from Arrow Lodge Brewing. So, Puff Pastry is an imperial stout with cacao nibs, vanilla, and marshmallow. This baby is 12%, and it was released as part of Arrow Lodge's annual Best Buds Day, which is a big collaboration event with Mo from Craft Beer Kings on April 20th every single year, and this is a very limited release as part of that celebration. I can't wait to crack this baby open. I don't know much more than that about it. The can art is sick. Love that. Uh, let's crack it open. Very aromatic beer. So on the aroma here, I gave that uh, quite a vigorous pour. So we got about two inches of deep, dark brown, kind of oil slick brown head sitting right on top. Incredibly carbonated, very thick and fluffy head here. Gives me kind of a, uh, like a toasted marshmallow appearance and also aroma. Again, Imperial Stout here, so it's deep, it's dark, it's black. On the aroma, big roast character, almost coffee, but none of that bitterness. Sweet, but not overly sweet. Not as sweet as that, that ingredient list implies there. You definitely get marshmallow, for sure. Big marshmallow component, but this has a campfire without the fire to me. This doesn't have any of that smokiness, but it does have a lot of that kind of rich, sweet, sticky, dark aroma to it. That head has settled in nicely there. Let's give it a whirl. Everything on that aroma is carrying through to the palate there very chocolatey and vanilla is is very present in this as well so when we said cacao nibs vanilla and marshmallow as the adjuncts and they're all shining through beautifully very sweet i'm not gonna lie very sweet but not as sweet as a lot of these beers tend to be it has a great balance with that stout roastiness as well the booze is nowhere to be found it's hidden by that big sweet flavor um, it's hidden by the roastiness. It's hidden by the chocolate. The chocolate is wonderful on this beer. That's the star of this show. It's a very delicious, not too sweet, not too bitter, really kind of rich chocolatiness. Uh, it's coated my mouth. I'm getting a lot of that. So that chocolate is, is really great here. This is a s'more in a glass without the uh, smokiness. Like I was saying, there's no campfireness, but it's a very delicious beer. It's smooth, it's silky on the mouthfeel as well. And if you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to capture this, but like you're moving that around the glass and you're seeing the head and the liquid just clinging to the sides. It's not like syrupy by any means, but it's silky. It's almost fluffy. It's that consistency that you love in a good hazy IPA. They're pulling through in an imperial stout. Maybe it's that marshmallow. Maybe it's that vanilla. I don't exactly know how they achieve this, but a very great silky smooth mouthfeel on this. I really like this beer a lot. I, I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm a big fan of this beer. Excellent roast, excellent chocolate, excellent vanilla and marshmallow, not overly sweet. Hopefully you guys can get this beer. I know this one's sold out pretty quick. So I heard that they're making more of it. I don't know if that's been made public. By the time this airs, it might be out, it might be gone. If you see this beer, get it. Why not? If you like big adjunct pastry stouts, do that. But if not, consider Arrow Lodge. Arrow Lodge is doing beers just like this all the time. I got sent two stouts last month. Haven't opened them yet, but I will, and I am very excited to do so, especially after drinking this beer. But they kill it across a lot of different styles. I just had a great Vienna Lager from them. Delicious hazy IPAs, and they do a ton of those. But really, stouts, lagers, like they're really doing a great job out there in Covina. Grab Arrow Lodge. Grab puff pastry if you can. Guys, really, really well done. All right, uh, I'm gonna finish this beer. Cheers.